Guten Tag, guys. My name is Alex and I'm the Bur. In the last video, we already touched on what a beginner workout routine could look like. And today we will look at this topic in a little more detail. And we'll do this by looking at the plans I showed you last time. We had an upper body and a lower body focused full body training routine and a training routine that you can do from home with no equipment. First up, we'll look at the warm up. What should you do to warm up? Do you need to go jogging for 30 minutes and then do some foam rolling and then stretch for another 30 minutes? No, you don't need to do that. The most important thing that a warm up should do is to warm you up. Who would have thought? What you do to get warmed up is not that important. Just try to get your body warm without getting fatigued. A higher body temperature and muscles that are well supplied with blood can reduce the risk of injury and not getting injured is arguably the most important thing. A cross trainer, walking uphill, skipping ropes are all great choices to get warmed up. My personal favorite is walking on an incline. On a cross trainer, back when gyms were still open. That should cover your general warm up and now let's look at your warm up sets for each exercise. For example, if your working weight of the deadlift is 100 kilograms, you don't start with 100 kilograms. You start maybe with 40 kilograms and work your way up in 20 kilogram steps. Usually you only do those warm up sets for the compound lifts where you handle a lot of weight. Now let's look at the exercises themselves. Like I already mentioned in the video before, uh, videos discussing technique will come in the future. Now, first up, we need to know what are sets and what are reps. Reps or repetitions is probably pretty self-explanatory. One rep is just going through the motion of the exercise one time. And all the reps you do in one go are then one set. And between sets, you usually rest. Now, there is so much to be said about sets, reps and rest period and there are so many different opinions that I cannot cover this. For now I'll just leave you with some of my recommendations what's good for the start and if you want we can discuss this topic in more detail later. 6 to 12 reps or 10 to 15 reps is often claimed as the muscle building magic zone and that's of course not true. These are great rep ranges to build muscle and they work really good but you can just as well build muscle with below 6 reps or above 15 reps. So there is nothing magic about these zones. Nevertheless, these rep ranges are really good starting points and it's okay to stick to those in the beginning. So now let's get a little more specific. What could the workout routines from last video could look in more detail? And keep in mind, the weights I chose here may not apply to you. Everybody starts from a different place. Maybe some of you can already do pull-ups before they even train and for others it might take a while. So just try to pick a weight that is challenging to you within the given rep range. Now let's start with day one of the upper body focus plan. First up we got the warm-up. I choose skipping ropes here. Afterwards we got pull-ups or you can also do lat pull-downs if you can't do pull-ups and if you have access to a lat pull-down machine. Afterwards, we have overhead press with dumbbells. I chose dumbbells here because usually they are more comfortable for beginners. Afterwards, we got Romanian deadlifts. I picked Romanian deadlifts over conventional deadlifts because in my experience, beginners tend to learn them a little easier and you need a little less mobility. Afterwards, we have curls with dumbbells and then a plank. The rest times I picked here should have you feel good to go afterwards and are not too long because in the beginning you don't lift that much weight so you probably don't need three four or even five minutes of rest. Pull-ups and overhead press are the first two exercises because we want the routine to be upper body focused and we do pull-ups before the overhead press because it's smart to focus a little more on your back side because usually the back muscles are underdeveloped in comparison to the front side and because a strong back also helps you with good posture. The rep range of the Romanian deadlifts is a little lower because doing high rep deadlifts is difficult and demanding on your body and I would rather you don't push yourself too hard until you master the correct form. And also because high rep deadlifts are just a pain in the ass. Quite literally actually. 
And for the accessories I picked bicep curls and the plank because most of you probably want bigger buys and the plank so that you don't miss your core training. On day two we once again got the warm-up. Afterwards we'll do barbell rows, then barbell bench press and then squats also with the barbell. As you can see we have some warm-up sets in there and after the squats we'll do triceps pushdowns with a cable machine if you've got access otherwise you can use bands or dumbbells. And last but not least we got leg raises. Mostly the same things apply here as before. Although higher rep squats are not as bad as high rep deadlifts, I also stick to 6 to 8 reps here. We already had bicep curls in the first day, so now we have tricep pushdowns now. On the first day we got the plank, which is a static exercise. And now we have leg raises, which are a dynamic exercise for your core. Now let's get to the lower body focused workout routine. Here on day one we have a warm-up, then Romanian deadlifts, as mentioned before because it usually is easier for beginners than conventional deadlifts. Afterwards hip thrusts, then push-ups, then side leg raises, optional in a side plank, and then a plank. We want to focus on the lower body here, so now we start with two lower body exercises, uh, wider hip thrusts and the deadlifts, which are both hip dominant because everybody wants more muscles in their butt and that's a good start. In this routine we just train our upper body a little and that's why we just have one upper body pull and one upper body push movement here. On the first day we start with the push movement. And on day two we got a warm up, barbell back squats, hip thrust once again, then rowing with dumbbells, afterward once again side leg raises and then leg raises. Again we start with two lower body exercises and now we have the upper body pulling movement here. Side plank leg raises are once again a booty exercise but this time it's not for the gluteus maximus but this time it's for the glute medius. And the core exercises are just the same as we had before in the upper body focused workout routine. And now last but not least we'll look at the plan you can do from home without any equipment. Of course we also start with the warm up here. If you really don't want any equipment, you just go for a walk here. Afterwards, our first exercise are squats. And bodyweight squats might get easy after a while, so you have to look up harder progressions. After the squats, we have the inverted row, and you can easily do those with a table. After the inverted row, we have push-ups. And just like the squats, the push-ups also may get too easy after a while, and you need harder progressions. As our last compound exercises, we have glute bridges and you can do those really good while laying on a couch. As accessories, I picked supermans and leg raises here. I picked supermans here because they work your lower back. And due to the fact that we don't have barbell back squats or deadlifts in here, our lower back didn't get much attention until now. And leg raises just because they're a great ab exercise. These three workout routines are just suggestions. You can make so many things different and it would still be a good plan. I just try to make them very short and very easy and still hit most of the muscles. On the lower body focus plan and the home training plan, we're missing the side delts a little bit and we don't have calves in any of them. And that's just due to the fact that I wanted to keep it short. If you don't want to skip out on your calves though, you can just add calf raises to one of your training days. Of course, you could find several smaller muscle groups that are not really trained or maybe not at all trained in this training plan. But all the major muscle groups like your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, your lower back, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, your chest, your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders, your abs and your forearms are very well covered. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean a lot if you liked it and subscribed. And you're also very welcome to leave me some criticism down in the comments. This was Fahad. Thanks for watching. Muscles that are well supplied with butt. Mm. Butt! Of course, with butt!